Alright guys, this is going to be a video on a extended magazine for the Ruger PT-140 Millennium G2 40 cal because they don't make one for this gun. Looked and looked and looked, haven't found one. So I'd ordered this Ruger P95 9mm magazine for my Ruger which I then traded for this gun before I got this magazine in the mail and instead of sending it back and getting my money back I said hey see if I can make this work and played with it a little bit was able to chamber some rounds so then I figured out uh, this magazine's a little thinner than these so I had some playroom wouldn't I wouldn't be able to get it in there and it just snap in as well as I needed to make a hole for the catch since up here was to catch for the Ruger. So this is what I've done here. I've matched up the magazines, cut me a hole right here, cut me a slot for the magazine to catch. It's very easy to do. Now then, since it was too thin and it moved around a little bit, took and I used some JB weld. And I JB welded just to add some thickness there and then sanded it down, put it in there, sanded it down, got it, you know, to where it was flush and it would flush upright. And so now, let me put this magazine in here, it clicks into place. It's not coming out. It won't lock back on the last round, which is, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna add a little tab in there to extend that up a little bit because on this one it's higher up to make that lock back on the last round. And so far, I haven't shot it yet, but what I have done is I have loaded all, filled it up with nine millimeter rounds and uh, cycled them through there. Didn't, it didn't seem to have any problems, you know, other than it didn't quite want to eject them because it was nine millimeter and a 40. You see, I have these 40 rounds here and I only have seven of them. I'm in the process of getting more. Sorry, I don't have the money to just go out and buy ammunition as I please. Not only that, I just got this a couple days ago and haven't been to the store yet. Now, I don't have snap caps, so these are live rounds, but we will be safe in doing this and keeping the gun pointed away, although I've already done it and made sure that everything will work right. Now, I can't put the safety on and do this because when I put the safety on, the gun won't move at all. I have to take safety off when I'm doing this. But we'll keep the gun pointed away. The most that'll happen, I might shoot out a window or something, but hopefully that don't happen. Show y'all function here. Got it loaded. Put one in the chamber. You can see the loaded chamber indicator come up. Ejected. Next one in. Gotta let it go all the way back. That was my fault. And that's it. So, now I've only been able to put seven rounds in here so far because, like I said, I don't have any more ammo. I have filled it up with 9mm and tried it, but I do want to fill it up with 40 just to double check and make sure that way, once it has full tension, which I see it not having a problem there, but that it will chamber rounds. It's normally it's not going to chamber around. It'll be some of the last few rounds being in one of these subcompacts. But now the next question is, is it going to be shooting it? Will it going back and coming forward? Will it be going back and coming forward too fast for these last few rounds since this is a subcompact and then 40 and this is a 9mm magazine? Now I will get some more ammunition and load it up and make a video shooting out of this magazine but you know for this it's you know this was a pretty simple way I mean line your slot up with your normal mag cut it and since I had that playroom in I just added some JB weld and made it thicker than this and then just sanded it down and sanded it down until it would fit in there good and latch in and as you see I mean it goes right in now it won't come out. Got to click the button to release it. 
and it goes in every time. Now I mean, if you push the button, the magazine won't just drop because it has to have a tight hold so that the magazine don't wiggle as much and move away. But you click the button, it easily slides right out. So figured I'll make this video and show y'all, hey, it's possible you can do this. And I'm sure there's other magazines that's possibly easier to do this with. Um, maybe a different, you know, a Taurus extended magazine for bigger calibers. Maybe you might just have to cut, you know, a slot in a different spot. I'm not sure, but I just had this one, so I figured I'd try it out. And, uh, you know, anything's possible if you use your mind. And, uh, this is going to be it. And, uh, hopefully I'll get some more ammunition here in the next couple of days, and I will load it up and fire it as well as have a review on this gun here coming up but before I did that review I want to be able to take it out and shoot it and these are the only rounds I have so I've been using this as my carry gun so I can't make a video yet but I do trust it it seems like a pretty good gun I've chambered I've racked these rounds in these seven rounds probably been in and out of this gun a hundred times already just been playing with it yeah. Well, that's it guys and a great way to extend your from going from a 10 round magazine to I can't tell you exactly how many this will hold a 40 I'm going to guess around 25 to 28 though because on the Taurus Millennium G2 9mm version you get 12 rounds on the 40 version you get 10 which means I'm guessing for every 10 rounds you know, I mean, for every 12 rounds of 9mm, you're going to lose two chain in the 40. So, if this was a 32 round magazine to begin with of 9mm, say two, four, six, you're going to lose six rounds. So, you know, about 20, like I said, between 25 and 28 rounds, I'm guessing that this will hold. And uh, once I fill it up, we'll find out for sure. I'll be sure to let you know if I get if I get some more ammo here in the next day or two. I may just wait before I upload this video and extend that video until the end of this one. So, but that's it, guys, and uh, I hope y'all like it. And if you have any questions or anything, if you're thinking about doing one of these and want to know, you know exactly how how I did it more in detail, just comment. Get in touch with me and I'll uh, be glad to help out with that said and uh, hope y'all have a good day.